Hosted by Riza. PJ Masks! Hi kids, welcome to another episode of Game Review by Rika. Today, I'm going to review the Starlight Sprint game from PJ Masks. This game is packed with actions and is very fun to play. Let's go ahead and press the play button to start. The menu screen here will tell you the villains that are causing trouble in the city, and we can choose one and deploy our hero to save the day. The game will start with only Catboy but I have progressed enough to use all three right now. Let's click next to proceed for now. You've got no chance, PJ Masks! So we will start with Alley in the first part of the game. She can fly across the screen, and the main goal of the game is to collect the red balls on the screen while avoiding the obstacles in the way. She also has a special move that will blast out a shockwave and destroy things in her way. Alid is actually pretty easy to use as I just need to keep her hovering above the ground. She also has a lot of balls to collect along the way. Keep in mind that there is also a health bar with a maximum of 3 hearts. Touching the obstacles will knock one heart off. Luckily there are plenty of hearts to collect to refill the health bar. We should be almost done with Owl. I think we will go into this section for Catboy afterward. Catboy! Okay, so now we get to control Catboy. He plays differently from Owlet since he cannot fly. His main objective is the same. Collecting blue balls in the area while avoid touching the obstacles along the way. He has access to the double jump ability in which he can jump higher to avoid danger. His special move is a forward power push, which grants him temporary invincibility as well. Anyway, let's keep going and reach for the goal. As you can see this become a routine exercise, and there isn't much to do other than jumping. I think this section is almost finished and we'll go to get those next. Gecko! Now we get to control Gecko. He is actually my favorite character in this series. Gecko is a bit of a combination of Owlid and Catboy. While running on the rooftops, he plays like Catboy jumps around to avoid the obstacles. When he climbs on the wall, he will play like Owlid and I will need to keep him above the bottom of the screen. His doesn't have the double jump like Catboy. However, his special move is similar to Catboy in which he will push forward with a power move. He is much harder to control in my opinion. We should be close to finish now and the goal's up ahead. So we get to see how many balls we have collected in the mission. So that is how the gameplay goes. The game does not have an ending and it will keep giving you a randomly generated location to play. I'll stop here now and let's go into the review. Here is my review of the PJ Masks Starlight Sprint game. For the fun factor, I am giving it 3 stars. The graphic looks nice and the game is fun to play. Each character has a unique gameplay mechanic, and at each level is different from the previous. It has a lot of replay value. For difficulty, I am giving it 3 stars. The game is very challenging and you can easily fail a mission if not being careful of what you do. For educational value, I am giving it just 1 star. There isn't much to learn in this game. Overall, this game is not bad but I think it is fun to play. For watching and I hope you like my review. Please remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon when you check out my other videos. Goodbye.